One of the great benefits of using subroutines is that it helps us modularize our program code inside our actual program. It helps give our program structure. So what we're going to do right now is have a look at how we can create these subroutines. Now there are a few methods, but what I'm going to show you is by far the easiest, and that's using forward navigation. And what we're going to do is pop this one select statement into a subroutine all by itself. So I'm just going to copy it to the clipboard. Then I'll comment it out just so we don't lose it. And then I'm going to use a statement called perform. Now the perform statement is what is used to perform a subroutine. And all I need to do in its simplest form is say perform and then create a subroutine name. We just make one up that represents the type of function we want to do. So in this case, we're going to fill itab02 with some data. So let's say itab underscore 02, actually there's no underscore is there, itab02 underscore fill. Full stop and that's it. Now of course, all we've done is type in the code. We haven't created it yet, so we will use forward navigation. So I will double click, and it says the subroutine does not exist. You want to create it, we'll choose yes. And then it gives us an option of saying, well, where do you want to create it? Now, we have the option of, we could include it in the include that we created, but you know, that include Maybe we just want to keep that for data definition, so we won't choose that one. It gives us the choice of creating a brand new include, and it's given it its own name, which we can change, uh, but I don't want to do that. All I want to do is create this include in the main body of our program. So I'm going to choose this one, click the middle button, and then what the system does is scrolls right to the bottom of the screen and creates a form. It gives us some comments here and then it allows us to enter whatever code we want inside the form. So what we will do is because we have our code copied to the clipboard, I will just paste it in and that's it. This code now belongs in its own subroutine that we have included at the bottom of our program. So let's do a syntax check. Everything is good and we can activate. So now it's active and we know everything is good. Let's just review it one more time. We created a perform statement and we're saying perform this subroutine. Now I use forward navigation to jump to it. And then the subroutine says select all the records from Z employee into the corresponding fields of table itab02. So the system will perform any code we put inside the form end form structure. And then once the system encounters the end form statement, processing will be returned to the next statement under our original perform statement. So the next statement will be this loop statement. Processing will continue down to the bottom of the report where it will terminate. And please note, I'm considering this the bottom of the report. This is a subroutine. The system will not run through and perform this at the end. It knows this is a subroutine and doesn't class it as being part of the program at the very bottom. It's a separate subroutine in its own right.